My name is Dr. Benjamin Dome, and this is a discussion of hip arthroscopy. Hip arthroscopy is a minimally invasive procedure to repair structures which may be torn or damaged in the hip joint. It's performed through tiny poke hole incisions, and it uh, allows us to repair torn or damaged structures. This allows us to save the hip rather than replacing it, and this is done as an outpatient surgery. Uh, it allows return to activities uh, and sports in many very active patients. Some of the typical symptoms you may see in a hip problem may include a chronic or acute onset, prolonged sitting may be painful, uh, rising from a seated uh, position may cause pain or catching, rotational or torsional motions may be painful, as may be entering or exiting a car. Uh, there may also be catching, popping, painful intercourse, or night pain. You may have heard of hip arthroscopy in professional athletes like Alex Rodriguez or Kurt Warner uh, and many others who have undergone arthroscopic procedures to save their careers. Active individuals uh, and those who have hip pain uh, and want to save their own hip, however, are all candidates uh, for this kind of surgery. So why hip arthroscopy? Well, if you have hip pain and the only alternative is to wait until you need a total hip replacement, Many active individuals may not want to pursue that path. Many may not want a hip replacement and uh, active individuals tend to want to stay active. So that brings us to what can we fix through an arthroscopic approach. So a little bit of anatomy. The hip is a ball and socket joint and the ball is called the femoral head. The socket is called the acetabulum and the seal around the edge of the socket is called the labrum. And you can see that ring here in the diagram. Uh, which is ar around the edge of the socket encircling the ball. It seals the ball in the socket and it seals the lubricant fluid in the joint. So if you tear your labrum, you essentially break the seal uh, and then you leak out the lubricant fluid and you have an unstable, unlubricated, and painful joint. Here's a picture of an arthroscopic labral repair performed to treat this problem. This is done with stitches and anchors, tiny little suture anchors that go in the bone that allow us to suture the labrum to the bone arthroscopically. So why do labral tears occur? Well, they may occur from a specific injury uh, in sports or otherwise. Uh, they may also occur due to subtle uh, bony abnormalities, even congenital abnormalities, such as impingement. Impingement uh, is a, a a shape of the bone which causes rubbing between the ball and socket. If the shape of the ball and the shape of the socket don't match each other perfectly, then that rubbing can cause tears of things like the labrum. So you can see on the left side of the screen an x-ray before where there's a bump on the femoral head. Uh, the ball of the ball and socket is not quite round. We reshape that arthroscopically as you see in the picture on the right such that the uh, x-ray after the procedure shows that we've rounded the femoral head and alleviated the impingement. Another indication for hip arthroscopy is gluteus medius tears. The gluteus medius is the muscle on the side of the hip and it may cause weakness or pain if torn. So diagnosis of hip problems that may need hip arthroscopy can be challenging. Uh, in one study, 60% of athletes undergoing an arthroscopy were initially misdiagnosed and they stayed misdiagnosed for an average of seven months, which is a long time. In another study, surgery on the wrong site was recommended in 17% of patients. Uh, so imagine that's a patient who had a hip problem but got recommended a different surgery like a spine surgery or a hernia surgery uh, because the diagnosis was so challenging. So some of the common misdiagnoses may be groin pulls, hip flexor problems, muscle strains, sciatica, bursitis, or hernias. The challenge in hip surgery, then, is that millions of Americans suffer from hip pain. Many have trouble obtaining a diagnosis, and there are few comprehensive hip centers like ours that uh, have expertise and specialization in diagnosing and treating hip problems. So, our goal is to advance the field uh, with cutting-edge treatment for patients with hip pain, innovating new and better surgical techniques, to measure the success of the surgeries that we innovate and to educate other surgeons on those innovations. Thank you very much.